today. <clears throat> I'm going to use my food processor to <laughs> make some breadcrumbs. Uh, I usually would buy my breadcrumbs down at Restaurant Depot and I buy 25 pounds, pounds at a time. And then I put them in Ziplocs and I share them with people. And can you believe I'm out of them? Mm, I know, I gotta get down there. Sharon Hoagie, you wanna go with me? Or Gail, <laughs> we can split stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make breadcrumbs. Um, these ones I think are hard enough, they should be super hard. But you know how fresh bread goes stale faster than processed, like say white bread. So let me turn this a little bit this way and down. And I'm going to get these buggers a little bit at a time, I guess. Let me just do a couple, see what happens. Like half. How's that? Okay, and after I get them zoomed up, um, we'll talk. Okay, let me put some more in. Yeah, sometimes if they're too, if they're not stale enough, it sounds dumb. But um, they won't crumble up as good because they're still kind of moist, you know. Now, you could put spices in here, too, of course, at the same time. But let's just do this. Even that much is what I need for demo uh, purposes right now. So I'll just show you that. Okay, let me get this out. Do like so. I'm just going to, oh, I can't do it with one hand, surely. You know that. Just gonna cherry pick the big pieces out. And go like this, get those in there. The blade comes out. And, see the big pieces. I'll zoom them up a little bit, but for the video to be fast. I could make them more crumbly if I want, but I kind of wanted a little bit of a more crunch. So some of them aren't all the way pulverized like that part. Some are crunchy. What I'm gonna do with these now is I'm gonna air fry some pork chops and all I'm gonna do is spice this up a little bit more. I can't decide what I want. Do I want them like cajun -y? I'll put Cajun spice. Do I want them just some garlic, salt, and parsley? I could do that. Um, they smell really good and taste good. It depends on what else I'm having. If I'm making, say, mac and cheese to go with them or some kind of other, uh, you know, side dish, you decide how this will be flavored, okay? And after I spice these up, all I'm really going to do is beat these couple of eggs, okay, and then dip the dry pork chops in those and then bread this and air fry about 390, 400. And I don't know timing with that thing. I just kind of guess, but when I have it out, I have it out. I usually have it in the sun porch, but the sun porch is really cold right now. <laughs> so I have it in here. <laughs> so, okay, I'll show you how they turn out. I should have mentioned, you don't have to air fry these. You can just, um, I jazzed up my breadcrumbs, by the way, I put in a um, little Romano cheese, some garlic salt, and some dried parsley. They'll be great, trust me. Um, but you don't have to air fry them. You can just put a little olive oil or vegetable oil or whatever in a, a skillet and just do the egg. And But I just, the point was I wanted to show you, you can make your own breadcrumbs. Don't throw away that nice fresh bread that you got. Um, use all different kinds. Tell me what kind of seasoning you like in yours. And I'll show you the end result. Just wanted to show you them. I'm going to flip them now. And they smell delicious.